Moving over to the economic news and interest rates. Um, interest rates are holding firm. They're holding up right now. They're kind of the high sixes, you know, APR if you're a first time home buyer. Uh, about 40 basis points over that, 7.4 maybe if you're not a first time home buyer. Bond markets, um, which heavily influence mortgage rates, are having a hard time shaking off the strong jobs data that's come in the last couple of, you know, last month or so. Um, you know, of course, the Fed says they want to control inflation, and, and most of the inflation readings have been steadily improving. You know, we're, we're still seeing inflation. The, the, the actual reading of the numbers is higher than the Fed's target, but steadily the rate of growth is, is, is slowing and, and inflation is coming down. And so you can definitely see that. And there is a lag effect to some of what the Fed does. You know, so they're, they're, they're going to budget for that. Um, but at the same time, you know, the Fed is still saying that we have more increases to come. And, 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 and really the, the, the main reason I think that they're looking at that is because this, the, the job market has been super strong. Even though, you know, maybe you saw the headline this past, you know, the first Friday of every month, the jobs report comes out and the jobs created were smaller than expectations, you know, lower than expectations. But really you dig into that a little bit and, and the um, you know, wage inflation is still there. There's still a lot of pressure. There's still just way too many jobs out there. Um, and you know, as a result, you know, with, with that many jobs that are, and not enough people, that, cre that creates a high level of, of potential wage inflation. And that's really what the Fed is afraid of. You know, they, they want fewer jobs out there so that the, that the um, workers, the employers, the team members have to compete for those jobs and they're not in the driver's seat, therefore commanding higher wages and salaries and driving inflation. And so that as a result is what's kind of keeping the Fed from pulling back and, and, and announcing that, hey, we're done, you know, we're going to kind of watch this for a while. No, they've telegraphed that they're going to raise it again for, you know, for at least one or two more times through the cycle. I'm still expecting rates to come down. You know, I, th I think that's, that's abundantly evident that the vast majority of economists, lenders, everyone expects rates to come down. Uh, doesn't mean everyone's right. Everyone could be wrong. Uh, but I do think that that's going to happen, but it's probably going to be a little bit later in the current year or maybe early next year. So that's, uh, that's it for the economic forecast.